In this video, I'll start by breaking down a hot lap into some basic references and cues to look out for, before further analysing braking references, turning in points and track dynamics in a corner by corner circuit analysis. On the screen now are some timestamps, so you can skip to any part of the video. These are split by each individual corner or section of the track. Without further ado, let's begin with the hot lap guide. So, coming up to turn one, we're looking at the 50 board, heading into the apex very, very early, just carrying the brakes, very careful on the exit because it's uphill, we don't want to be losing too much traction there. It's a very long run down to turn three. Turn two, coming up to turn two now, very, very easy turn, flat out, just be careful of the bump. Get back over to the left hand side just before the banner. Very, very late apex. Don't run out all the way wide, leave a little bit of room all the way over to the right. And then this is flat out with just a little, little lift in the middle. You can go deceptively wide here and get away with it. The track's very, very wide. Just after the 100 board, braking, carrying the brakes for a long, long time. Again, don't go too wide. I got caught on the curb there a little bit. Don't want to be doing that too, too much. Over to the right hand side braking towards the middle of the track initially then going towards the apex again you can go deceptively wide on the exit here turning in at the 50 board staying towards the middle center line of the track and then just coming off the throttle at the last moment again going deceptively wide here taking it all the track available and then here we're just going to be braking at the marshall's hut on the right hand side braking in a straight line towards the apex very very tight first gear then all the way over to the right, full throttle up the hill and then just a slight lift to get past the bump. Then the long run down to the final chicane. We're looking just before the overhead banner. Very tight here, stay over to the right to get a good run up into the final corner. Make sure you don't touch that barrier. And that is your hot lap. Welcome to Alsace Village. Very lovely track now, I've got to know it. It's just got such a rhythm to it. But a key theme around Alsace is timing and vision. You've got to be looking very, very early. So these brake references and especially turning references are very, very vital with these long sweeping corners. Turn one is very, very, very simple. 50 meter board, right on the 50 meter board. But as we break at the 50 meter board, we're gonna go towards the middle of the track. And by the time you reach this sort of line, pit exit line that goes across the track, you should be dead in the middle of the track. So you should be just on this point, this sort of cross hatch, cross hair, whatever, whatever that's called. That's gonna be your sort of aiming for turn one. And then we're going to stay very, very tight. I would stay off the curb here because it just unsettles the car. And again, staying very, very tight on the exit because it goes uphill. So just leave a little bit of room on the exit and you'll naturally be pushed wide. Then we're taking the line of least resistance here. But we're sort of heading all the way over to the middle, all the way over to the left again because we don't want to be scrubbing off too much speed. This one's flat out. You're going to be naturally just pushed a little bit wide but make sure to get all the way over to the left before this corner the first arrow is where we're going to be braking and this is a very very late apex corner i would hold off on the downshifts just a little bit longer just to keep the car settled so we're going to be in the middle then as we pass this shadow this is where we're going to be thinking about making our way towards the inside so on the exit because it's uphill and it's cambered negatively on the exit you can see here the on the exit the inside of the corner is higher than the outside which is different to the actual apex which makes for a really really horrible dynamic within the corner you've got to just stay very tight on the exit i would aim for that black and white barrier just point your nose there 
on the exit and then you should be golden. I would say don't go out any wider than this. Uh, certainly don't get on that curb because we want to get all the way over to the right immediately. And by the time you reach this first arrow, you should be straight. You should be parallel with the outside of the track and you should be starting to begin to turn in. Starting to think about turning into the next corner on that first arrow. It's gonna be flat out and you wanna just make your way towards the middle of the track, probably about here. And then you'll see the hay bales on the right hand side. There's one layer and then there's a point at which it begins to be two layers of hay bales. That's going to be the point at which you just come off full throttle onto about half throttle for maybe a second, a second and a half. And then you're straight back on. And you can go deceptively wide here and get away with it. You might think you're going to go off the road, but you've just got to keep it pinned. And trust me, you won't go wide. So with this corner, this is a horrible corner as well because of the camber on the entry especially. So we can use the 100 board. That's far too early, but it's a good place to start. We can move to these arrows on the left-hand side. We could use the first arrow, progressively move to the second arrow, then the third arrow. And finally, we want to be aiming to break around about this yellow board, which is just so conveniently placed. So we're going to be breaking in a straight line and then just turning in quite early because of the camber. We don't want to be headed out wide, pushed out wide too early. And we're going to be fully carrying the brakes up until about this point. And then we're going to be on the throttle, about 70% on the throttle. And we want to sort of overturn on the exit because the camber will stop and it will, the track will start to go downhill a little bit. So especially if you're on the kerb, try and get off the kerb as quickly as you can, just so that you don't get pushed wide. It's about here where the track starts to go downhill, the track starts to dip and there's no more camber anymore. So just be careful you don't get pushed out wide there. Also don't be also make sure you don't get caught on the outside of that curve. You can get the tires can get caught in a weird way, uh, which is quite a theme of this track. It's a, it's a bit strange. This one's flat out, but just make sure you're not taking the curve because there is a bit of a bump there. Then stay all the way over to the right. And this first arrow on the right hand side is where we're going to break. Initially, we're going to be headed towards the middle center line of the track. And the point where we're going to be aiming for is the middle center line just under the Alsace village banner. So sort of blending into the middle of the track here, under the banner, middle of the track. Then we can probably downshift into second, third or second, and head towards the mid, the inside of the truck, coasting for quite a while, and then head it out. Again, you can go quite deceptively wide here, but just be careful because the camber does switch from positive in the middle of the corner to negative, i.e. the outside of the track becomes quite low compared to what it was at the apex. So that will push you out wide quite early if you're not careful. This corner is absolutely horrible on first sight, but very easy once you get to, once you know how to take it. Turning in at about the 50 board, roughly, it's not too, too accurate there. And we're just going to follow this centre line. Just follow the centre line and modulate the throttle so that you can follow this centre line. And then you'll see the first tree on the right hand side. I think it's the first tree. Let's the first really distinct tree. So you've got the first tall tree there. And it's it's just in that the first in that group of brighter green trees. When, when you pass this tree, you'll see just in the distance, the blue and yellow curb, the, you can see the end of the blue and yellow curb. And the minute you see the blue, the end of that curb, that's when you're gonna start reducing the throttle and thinking about going towards the inside because that's gonna be where you apex. So you're gonna be just transitioning towards the inside, apex just after the end of the curb and then you can go so wide here and get away with it. 
here you want to be sort of straight you don't want to be you want to be aiming at this point for the inside curve because this is the point where the camber shifts from being positive camber i.e the left hand side of the track being high to positive camber for the next turn i.e the right hand side of the track being high so if you're any further out wide than this at this point you're going onto the grass and that's going to understeer the car into the grass on the right hand side take the curb if you want that's fine and then drift out towards the right hand side the next Alsace village uh, banner is where we're going to be turning in or beginning to make our way towards the middle of the track and then this last arrow or the second to last arrow or potentially the marshal's hut uh, depending on how confident you are in this situation that's going to be our braking references not fully on the brakes initially maybe 50% on the brakes initially just while we're turning in and then now we're fully on the brakes now that we can get a straight line through the corner braking all the way towards the apex I'd probably double apex this so go very 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 slow and then just miss the second apex powering out all the way over to the right and then if you've practiced this you'll know about the bump it's horrible this is how we get around it full throttle full throttle full throttle full throttle no throttle full throttle and completely miss the curb we don't want anything to do with that curb if you go full throttle through the corner because it's uphill you'll be carried you'll be sort of sticking towards the inside of the corner for quite a while and then if we just let the front of the car down at the right point we'll get past that bump no air will get under the car and you won't get carried wide miss the curb on the exit because it ends very very quickly you can take the curb here that's fine and then just give yourself a little bit of room to swing back towards the left because we're going to be braking at the first hay bale which i've overshot so let's reverse a little bit there we go, the first hay bale, that's going to be our braking point. And we're going to stick towards the left, stick towards, stick towards the left. And then just before the marshal's hut, we're going to break away from the left. Just break away ever so slightly towards the middle. And then coasting, only applying a tiny bit of throttle here, just to get rotated round to the right. Then modulate the brakes, coast quite a lot, late apex, and then don't get don't let yourself get too wide this is probably the widest you're going to want to go out of this corner so just sort of coming out of the final turn just think about going towards the white center line here and that should take you pretty much towards the apex of this final barrier here you don't want to be smacking that barrier because it's a long longish run up to turn one so there we have it there is your lap guide your lap breakdown of alsace village with a fantastic lap time of 14 minutes 51 seconds 0.891